Okay, coronavirus. Yeah, coronavirus. Um, and uh, there's a video that Hawkins did on illness, and he and he, he actually, you know, and this thing goes is cyclic. You know, what what's the latest thing that goes around the world? You know, is it coronavirus? Is it cat flu? Dog flu? You know, <laughs> there's going to be always something that goes on, and uh, and it's the belief system. Once you start publicizing all over the place that these are the symptoms you should be getting to get this thing, if you've got enough guilt and fear in you, you just manifest, you just catch the belief. What you do is you catch the belief. And then, it, and what, what means it manifests in you and you get it is the amount of guilt and fear. So if you feel you deserve, I mean, it's like when you have too much guilt and fear in you and you're at that level of consciousness, you're basically looking to hook into something to express where you're at. So, you know, like guilt. What does guilt mean? If you've got a lot of guilt, it means, you, it means that energy, that vibration is you're looking for punishment. So how do you manifest punishment? Well, you could ma manifest punishment through the coronavirus. You could manifest... Oh, yeah, I remembered something, another video I wanted to do. You could manifest something, <laughs> something through a bad relationship, um, you know, or um, you, you start to attract these things, so which correlate symbolically to the negativity that you're holding in, or the karma that you're holding into. So understand that, you know, like with myself and Hawkins, who recovered from 23 illnesses, you know, so what I realized when I had kidney failure, which is a similar thing to coronavirus, was that I had too much guilt and shame and fear, thank you, in me. So I just needed to manifest or pick up from the collective uh, something that would match the severity of the level of guilt and fear. So kidney failure is what I picked up. Like when I pick up kidney failure from the collective, it's like a, a program with sub-programs. So I pick up that belief system from the collective. It's like I slot my software into the collective software and, it, and say, like, how do I express kidney failure? And then I just manifest that, that set of programs. And so I could, like, and when the, the whole media is hyping coronavirus, and this is what you've got to do to look like you've got coronavirus, then you can just slot into the collective software and express that. So how do you, get, how do you, how do you defend yourself from it? I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not you know, like uh, most Course in Miracles teachers will say, like, take the practical act actions and do the Course in Miracles. I'm not against, I'm not one for saying like, if, if you know, if they say wash your hands, then wash your hands, fair enough. Uh, or do whatever they tell you to do. But, you know, mainly I'd be working spiritually on cancelling my beliefs around it and protecting my mind and trying to stop myself being programmed by it and also releasing any fear, guilt and shame, which would make me susceptible. So what makes me susceptible to coronavirus is my internal reservoir of negativity and, and my belief that such a thing could exist. And also I need to defend myself from picking up the belief systems. From a, you know, mass hysteria is very, you could say, um, it's easy to pick up the belief if everyone's talking about it. But you want, if you, so how would I do it? Well, I personally wouldn't watch the news and cut anything that's, because, you know, like, I mean, this is quite elementary stuff. Like, um, as a um, you know, as a hypnotherapist, or you know, with the unconscious, if you just keep putting a belief in front of somebody non-stop, you know, you're going to pick it up, consciously or unconsciously. You're just going everywhere. You go. You're looking. There are these subliminal and conscious messages like you should have coronavirus. That's the worst thing that you. So you have to like. But, you know, what I would say is don't be afraid of the word or the label coronavirus. It's just a label. It's, a, it's just a word. So the, the problem is that people and the media and people are talking about it as if it's real. And you're sort of catching the belief and their fear around it. So what, you know, so the way I would do it is apart from not going, not trying to actively um, pick it up, and switch off any media or any things that are doing it. And maybe, but what, what do you do if like uh, you're on the tube and like every advert there's coronavirus on it and the people next to you sitting are like talking about coronavirus. And um, 
th then what you've got to do is like you've got to put in a vigorous thing like like lesson 14 is God did not create coronavirus so it's not real so what you can do is you can have these internal mechanisms within you that are defending you from picking stuff up from the world so if you were to go out you know, it, you know, if you felt like it was that bad, you know, if there was absolute mass hysteria, every news channel and everyone was talking about it non-stop, then you'd have to, like, do an internal prayer non-stop to stop yourself taking it on board. Like, God did not create coronavirus, it's not real. God did not create coronavirus, it's not real. I cancel my, be cancel my belief in coronavirus, I'm an infinite being. So that will just start to lead. Also, you know, coronavirus is just a word. So you can strip the meaning of it, you know, like, so whatever has meaning, you can take the meaning out of it. So when you, when you say, I cancel my belief in coronavirus, I'm an infinite being, you're washing that word in light over and over again until it has no meaning for you. So like coronavirus is more or less someone could say to you, gaga, goo goo, gaga, <laughs> gaga, goo goo. You know, like it doesn't mean you have to be afraid of the word gaga, goo goo. It's because of the meaning. You see, so if you just, it, it, now the thing is, if you keep cancelling a belief in it, what will happen is, even if people say it, you won't be able to register what it means, because you'll have like, deleted it in the light of God, over and over again. So it's not about being afraid of things, but when you hold on, to, when you pick up the word with meaning, that has power, so, but you can delete that, you know, through cancelling. Um, so... I, I don't really, you know, myself, I don't actually believe in... So, we could talk about causality. Causality is ascribing me, that the world has power. The world doesn't have power. The light of manifestation is from God's light within. Whatever belief systems you hold in front of the light have the power to manifest. So it's not the world, it's not the coronavirus that has the power, but it's holding the belief system and, and fear within you that has the power. So I'm not really afraid of coronavirus. I'm afraid of believing in coronavirus. And if I believe in coronavirus, then what I'm really working on, I mean, I've taken practical actions, is cancelling my belief so that I no longer have that belief so it can't activate in me. So I don't believe the world is at fault, but I believe believing the world is the problem, not that the world is the problem. Yes, you could look at it as the world's a problem. But if the world was just saying goo goo gaga gaga goo goo at me non-stop and I didn't pick anything up from the world, the world doesn't have power. But if I believe that the world is saying threatening messages and I take those on, then that has the, the power to harm me is in my beliefs of things rather than there actually being something in there. So I would just um, delete it non-stop. Also understand uh, going to spiritual groups, you know, because the light in spiritual groups you know when you go to a powerful spiritual group, your head tends to go silent? And that is because the light is so strong in these spiritual groups that you can't track, you can't hold on to negative ideas in the groups. So just being in high vibration environments will wash out, will start to wash out the coronavirus as something that's not real. Um, so you can cancel it, do, do the light, uh, you know, listening. Anyone, you know, like Hawkins stuff on illness, you know, it just washes it out. I mean, there's someone giving testimony, like 23 illnesses. Like, uh, when I met Hawkins, see, doctors would say, like, oh, if you've got gout, you, sh you have high uric acid levels in your blood. And that the reason you're getting gout in your feet is you've got high uric acid levels. So all that Hawkins did was cancel his belief in high uric acid levels. And when I met him, uh, this is just to, you can use this with coronavirus. When I met Hook, I had gout, I knew he had gout, and I knew he transcended gout through cancelling his belief in gout and high uric acid. So I remember when I shook his hands, I felt a tingling in my toes because he had cancelled his belief. He doesn't believe in gout any longer. And now he transferred that belief that I don't have to believe in gout either. And then I was discharged from the rheumatology clinic. So in that way, I mean, he... he he transferred that grace that actually these are just belief systems you pick up from the collective nightmare and you can clear them. So there is no such thing. However, if you believe it, what you believe and hold in mind, that, that's the problem, not the out there bit. So I think the Course in Miracles is, um, and we're reading a lesson today, just a few minutes ago, like be careful, you know, just be careful not to pick up stuff from the world. 
and clean out any stuff that you, you have picked up from the world. Also, I'd say with anything that you're holding on, uh, the other thing with coronavirus is like, if you're afraid of it, like you want to cancel, like The Course in Miracles says, be specific, don't be general. So you could have like coronavirus, but you might have the symptoms like fever or blah or immunity or whatever it is. So you can cancel all that as well. So that's the way I would deal with coronavirus is just clearing my mind of it and protecting my mind from it. And also feel the feelings out. Uh, you can also do the observer on it. Like if you're in fear and attaching to thoughts, can you be the observer of those thoughts? And can you be the observer of the body? Does the deta is the detached observer afraid of catching coronavirus? Well, the detached observer isn't a body and isn't a thought. So it's immune to coronavirus. You also find that when you're in high, high vibrations, you can't catch other people's belief systems. If you're in the detached observer, um, what happens is the more you go into the light, the less you track the world. The, less, the more you're in fear and in separation in your ego, it's easier to catch things from the world. The more you're not trying to track the world or identify with the world or stay detached from it, it's harder to pick things up. So, uh, so I would just use those, use those as a spiritual defense mechanism against the coronavirus.